This is a quick tutorial to show you how to access the custom shapes collections from graphicextras.com via Photoshop CS5. The same basic approach can be used for CS4, CS3 and other versions of Photoshop as well as Photoshop Elements. Right, just going to go to the file, open command in Photoshop and I've got a selection of custom shapes. I'm just going to quickly show you the collection of custom shapes. There's a whole selection of folders, so there's like basic shapes mix shapes, various things like rings, frames, as well as circular designs, spheroids, rings, wave designs, hearts, numbers, complicated designs, bits and pieces designs, zigzag designs and star designs and many more. They can be used in multiple ways, combined, recolored, combined, let's say combined and distorted, warped and all those sort of things. Right, so I'm just going to go to the one of the folders, so I'm just going to just go there, and I'm just going to say select the shapes section there. So just open those, go to the shapes tool, select that. Now these are the shapes that obviously pre-exist in Photoshop, so you can actually just get rid of those if you wish. But uh, but it's just going to actually just select one of the shapes here. So just going to select that. So you can just quickly draw the design. It's actually as a shape layer. You can change the various types of use of the custom shapes. You can use them as a shape layer, a path, or just as a fill. I'm just going to undo that now. I'm just going to go and select the fill option. So you can just apply it. Like I said, you apply it, and it will use the current color here. So I'm just going to say change the color. So I'm going to go for a red color. So you can just apply the shape now. There's the shape. So you can, of course, apply multiple designs so you just keep applying it so you can combine them to create say more complicated designs than just a simple design that you've got of course you can change the color at that point so I'm just gonna just apply those now just gonna go back to say another shape so there's some other designs there just change the color back to so it's a bit clearer so you can apply those designs like I say you can apply them as a shape layer so you can apply various layer effects to the design so it's they're not just so you can just apply multiple examples of that of course you can actually use that design now and just go over there and just say just select that area and say define brush preset so you can just create a quick brush using the various shapes you've just created so i just click select that again so I'm just gonna now, in terms of browsing these shapes, I mean, you can basically see the designs here. There, are, there actually is available somewhere on the net, you can actually search for it, a custom shapes viewer. Now, I don't particularly know much information about that, but there is one available, as there are like brush uh, viewers as well. So uh, you can sort of search. Now, you can load quite a few of uh, shapes into here. So I'm just going to say, go and select another shapes file. So rings this time. And now just go there. The, the folder's got. Now a few more designs have been added to the design, so I'm just going to select one of those. So that's another one. So you can actually add many more. I'm just going to go and say select another one, custom shapes collection. Let's go and numbers designs. Just select that. So that's added those to the shapes. So you can now you can see the number of designs. Now all these shapes have been created by Graphic Extras. Of course, you could use other shapes from uh, various other sites. I mean, there's uh, many CSH files. Basically, the custom shapes are stored in CSH files, and uh, you can load them. There's not any other application other than Photoshop Elements that can uh, use CSH files, as far as I'm aware. So, uh, so there's designs again. Like I say, you can recolor the designs. You can of course uh, apply effects. So if you wish, you can just quickly do a blur or whatever, Gaussian blur to the design. So do that. Get rid of those. Now you can of course, like I say, apply them as a shape. So I'm just going to say select one of these other shapes. That's number seven there. So so seven. So you've got a shape design there. You can just dis obviously distort the shape. You can rotate the shape. So uh, I'm just going to now quickly show on the apply transformation so you can actually then go using the tool there direct select selection tool you can actually just go and manipulate the shape design so you can just manipulate the points of the design so maybe make a slightly different seven 
So now you've got a slightly different seven there. And you can actually go, if you wish, you can go and define custom shape. So you can actually save that as a new shape if you wish. So I'll just get rid of that one. Let's just go flatten that, get rid of that. Right, so you've got those, you've got shapes. So I'm just going to add another one. Let's just go to another folder, custom shapes collection. There's 12,000 shapes in this uh, collection. They were all created uh, over a period of time. Uh, there uh, also there's many other shape uh, shape packs available on the uh, graphic extra site so uh, not just the shapes collection so there's that so you can create design there of course you can combine the shapes so there's another design so you can change the color so I'm just going to select say a slightly different pink there so you can design play there now the set also comes with the thumbnails of the designs I mean they're fairly small uh, but uh, you can see the sort of range of different designs that are in each set. Of course, if you wish, you can always manipulate that. You can actually go now, once you've created this last number of designs, you can go and say save, save shapes. So you can save that entire palette into uh, a new shape CSH file. So you can use that obviously subsequently if you wish to use that way. So you don't have to keep with the, uh, the actual CSH files that uh, I've created, but... Uh, so you've got to, like I say, you can, of course, now go and select that lot. You can actually go and group those into uh, one single shape, if you wish. So uh, I'll show you some more other shapes quickly. Various things is ring designs. Like I say, you can combine them. So I'm just going to create that. So do that. Ah, right now, I'm just going to go new fill. So add a drop shadow. That design, so you can... Oh, so you can create a design, of course, color overlay. There. Make a dark one. That's it. Maybe add a bevel to it. So you can just do designs like that. Right, so I'm just going to go back to that. And I'm just going to add a few more. Let's just quickly show you that you can actually add quite a considerable number. I mean, each version of Photoshop seems to have a different limit so I'm not certain what with CS5 what the limit of the designs you can add to it of course the more you add potentially the slightly slower it will be for the startup certainly if you add things like patterns because patterns are quite uh, intensive for the uh, application but uh, custom shapes you should be able to load a considerable number of more so I'm just going to add another selection here I'm just going to go another um, zigzag designs so zigzag designs so you've got they started out as exact. Oh, so uh, you've just got uh, some wavy line designs there, and so on and so on. Now, if you once you've done done that, and you you say like so, you can save them. Of course, now if you want to reset the designs, or you can replace the entire selection you've got there, so you, you don't have to keep that. So you can actually say save changes to current. No, don't want to do that. So I'm just going to go and select say another selection of shapes. I can actually do it via that palette. So I'm just going to go products, of course I've got them in different folders, so I'm just going to quickly go through there, custom shapes collection, and there's other also, there's also gradients as well, I'll quickly show you that, what's in the thing, put heart, so you can actually add, they are all the designs now are gone, so they've actually been replaced, and you can just quickly add the heart ones, like so you can change the colour, whatever, so you can have a pink designs for the hearts, now you can use that as obviously a if you want you can save that obviously if you create a large file you can go and define pattern and all those sort of things you can say and also you can export them so you can obviously just export the, the designs or save as save as a PNG file and then you can use those maybe in other applications right so that's that first thing with shapes um, I say there's also gradients it comes with a set so you can uh, actually go and load those I just quickly load gradients actually a selection there and the gradients in it are actually the first set of gradients so just a selection of different uh, gradient designs so just create those but they're useful of course with the uh, shapes themselves you can use them in the shape layers okay thank you